Right, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it is now Friday the 23rd of July and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's around about four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's red hot, absolutely red hot, sweating. My dad was up here this morning, uh, he gave it everything good, uh, drink of water with the hose and that. Uh, like I say guys, uh, we like to give the garden a bit of a water and either early in the morning or as late as possible on an evening, uh, just to stop any the water lying on top of the leaves and burning them through the sun and, and, and things like that so we like to try and do that when it's cooler especially when the temperatures are red hot uh, just want to say uh, cheers guys for all the comments what I got here and that and they uh, really really appreciate it uh, them Charlotte were very very nice potato uh, like I say we've still got on our road to pull up uh, we're going to pull them up uh, over the weekend uh, I'm up here today to well this afternoon to uh, sort out these uh, onions. I'm going to pull the onions now so I'll spin these around and have his, let us have a little look. Right as you can see a lot of the onions are falling over now so none of these are bolted so these are stir on and these were the pips that I put in. I uh, got them from our local store here uh, Wilkinson's. So I'm just going to pull them up and just let them lie on the ground like that so they dry out but there's a little bunch there and I must say I must say guys uh, this is definitely 100% the best crop of onions that we have had uh, the first time we put them where the potatoes were and uh, the ground was uneven uh, they got waterlogged they were sitting in the shade because that's a, sh a shady part of the garden uh, but I didn't know that because uh, I, I put them in at the beginning of the year uh, when I first got the garden about two year ago two two and a half year ago that's when I, that's where I first put them up there and uh, unfortunately they got white rot uh, they didn't develop properly uh, so I thought I'd get some raised beds so I tried the bats uh, at the top of the garden uh, next to the strawberries so I put them inside of, of the baths and stuff like that some of them worked out but not a lot it, it failed basically uh, and then uh, I got helped by another plot holder uh, Wayne he come round and he, and he said just fill this whole ground up with uh, your onions and you, sh you should be okay so it's a nice sunny spot the garden uh, where the sun gets to all the time uh, I filled it up and uh, there we have it these are the results and they, uh, they've been absolutely fantastic uh, when it has been nice and hot we have been like I say guys uh, watering them uh, give them a good water to stop them from bolting and also when we're starting to come to near the end uh, I did uh, sprinkle some of the calcified seaweed around them and then we got hit with a bit of rain that washed it all in and it has actually given them a bit of a boost so I'm really really pleased with these so I'm going to get all these pulled guys and uh, we'll have a quick little look and just see uh, what they look like but very nice crop right and guys so there you have it that is the stir on pulled up and the lovely onions uh, we're going to go through them and have a quick little look uh, i'm not going to leave them like this guys i'm just going to let them lie there till the night and then tomorrow i'll be back up and then uh, we'll get them all sorted out properly so they can dry out because uh, this ground here needs to be turned over now because we're not putting nothing more else in this ground this is going to stay empty that's it it's done uh, we have got some potatoes what are popping through yeah, there shouldn't be there. There were the potatoes because we had potatoes here last year in this bit of plot and we've just got a couple of the volunteers there coming through. That one actually looks like a Desiree, if I remember rightly, because I remember my dad had some Desirees in there. So uh, these onions here are the Elsa Craigs. So if you do follow us guys, you know these are done by seed and they are, I did transplant these inside of here quite late on in the season. They are puffing up. Uh, but I'm going to just let them be so we'll go through these so we've got some nice size onions so you know that's a nice size that's a nice size that's a nice size lovely 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 so they're all absolutely stunning onions uh, we'll pick one up as you can see, there's the bottom of them. Uh, they're bone dry, absolutely bone dry. And as you can see there, got no issue with any rot, white rot and all like that, and that's all of them. 
check them all all fantastic size onions yeah brilliant like i say guys stir on these are and uh i probably paid about two quid for these and uh, this is the crop we got absolutely fantastic So then uh, I'm just going to let them be, they can just sit there and let the sun dry them out a little bit uh, and then I will sort them out and find a better place for them to go. Uh, I'll quickly show you the red onions, what we've done. We didn't do many red onions because they're all hard to grow, they do bolt all the time. A lot of ours bolted, uh, a couple of them did survive, uh, but it's a couple of sitting there what have actually bolted. Uh, you know they don't store at the end of the day that's what i've been told and uh, i cut one open had a look and you can see the the stalk all the way through and it, it just split so they don't store uh, but we don't want to keep them anyway because he wants to use them so i spin these around let you have a little look of the red so as you can see they're the ones that are bolted and that's a solid solid and that goes right through the center so but it's a couple of what haven't bolted and uh, I think these were called a beacon so we've got a couple that one bolted I can tell by the stem there uh, and you can feel it so never mind we will we will give them another shot next year uh, but I'm really pleased with these guys over the moon with them absolutely fantastic like i say every single one of them are spot on nothing on them nice and clean happy days right guys so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to go well i'm going to go around and give everything a bit of a drink inside of the pony tunnel and stuff like that uh we'll go back inside of the uh, greenhouse here uh, because i set a couple of seeds away inside of there and they're starting to pop through now yeah uh, so i'll give you a quick little update on them and what the plans are for them okay right guys back here in the greenhouse here uh, hope you can see it's all right here uh, because it's a little bit shady uh, it's red hot inside of here so i don't want to be in here for too long just a couple of the things what i want to show you uh my dad's been growing some chives in a, a bucket that the builder's bucket and uh, he's let some of them go to flower uh, they're being pollinated and uh, we have managed to get some seed so we've got some nice little black seed there i've just been going through the carcasses yeah off the old flower heads and just going through them so that's us there collecting my own seed uh, which i'm really pleased with so now we can use that seed there and put that somewhere else around the garden uh, next year uh, so really pleased with that the stuff that we'll be going to be doing uh, over winter hopefully uh, spring stuff and things like that I'm going to be there preparing the ground soon that ground needs to be prepared uh, I have been setting some stuff away so I'm just going to do a mixture of stuff uh, all year round stuff just mixtures see, see how we get on uh, so I've got some cauliflowers here uh, all year round ones I've got some aroma essos something like that I think that's pronounced uh, they look like cauliflowers as well I've got a seed pack right here that's them there uh, also we've got some of the cabbage spring cabbage yeah and also we've got some uh, all year round lettuce there i've got some fennel and no. all uh, so i've set some fennel away don't know if it's going to work we will see but this it's slowly starting to come through uh, and there's some air uh, pack draw i don't need to get these potted uh, in, potted up or pot it on whatever uh, i don't need to get that sorted out uh, in the next couple of days i'm going to be doing that we've still got some stuff outside of here so these are cauliflowers uh, we need to get these cauliflowers sorted that's what i'm saying i need to get the ground sorted at the top and there is a little caterpillar on it because it's just been sitting out there with no protection but like i say guys we're these are the cheesy f1 so i don't think these are going to go over any uh, 
winter or out like that. But we're just going to put them in and see how they get on. So there we go guys, uh, what I'll do is I uh, will show you my uh, pony tunnel uh, before I get myself away, uh, just to give you a little update in there to see how things are getting on and then uh, I think that's going to call it a day, okay guys so I'll spin these around now, we'll go and have a little look at the pony tunnel, okay? Right guys, uh, just give everything a bit of a water in there and uh, before I go out I'll let you have a little look inside of this pony tunnel because uh, a lot of things have grown and uh, they're looking really good, I'm really pleased so I, I want to get a log of it, so I'm going to let this have a little look. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we've got some nice tomatoes. These are the red cherry ones. I'm getting a, a load of crop on. These are the money maker. Absolutely fantastic. Got some more red cherry. As you can see, I've been nibbling at them once been ripening. Uh, but loads of them are coming on. The petunias are just unreal. I've got a lovely scent of uh, perfume inside of here. Uh, I'm had no issues with any white fly or green fly or, or nothing like that. It's it, it's been great. Uh, I do need to keep keep an eye on it because I don't want too much stuff going on. Because like you say, guys, uh, it will start sweating and stuff like that. It can cause uh, blight and stuff. Uh, so I have been going around and just trimming, keep trimming stuff. But up and now they've been great. Nice bunch there. Lovely bunch there. So these are the money maker. More red cherry. Lovely money maker there. Money maker there. Uh, I will just nip that out. There's no need for that. Just let them grow. So I do need to clean them up a little bit. This cucumber is doing fantastic. Got some lovely cucumbers coming on. Nice size ones all over nice and green much better directly in in the ground than inside of the tub the pot this leak's done good you know it is in the shade a bit so it's not going to get massive and out like that but it's doing good this peter gray's book here definitely has come to an end by the looks of it also i've got a melon couple of melons in here so we'll have a little scan around there's one there as you can see that's a melon there and that's starting to puff up nicely so there's probably a load of them mixing there somewhere it's perfect absolutely perfect all the little hover flies and stuff like that fantastic plenty of jalapenos coming on lovely more jalapenos so i've got plenty of friends and that who are quite looking forward to nibbling on some of these we've got some lovely bell peppers also we've got some banana peppers they're coming on nicely Let's try and get these in guys uh, we've got some of the red cherry boom so these are going to go red and these are a mild chili So plenty of them coming on there lovely so i can tell the difference between them and the jalapenos some more lovely ones coming on there these are the hottest ones these are the chocolate habaneros or habanero uh, but i can't really see now going on with them at the moment got some more peppers coming on there got me nice little flowers love flowers absolutely love them uh, but it's just smell the perfume what's coming off these uh, these petunias are unreal and like I say guys uh, it kept all the bugs away you just got to be careful though because like I say it can't cause a uh, blight uh, but that always open and at the vent there you know so this door here is always open and I haven't had any issues everything seems to be doing okay fingers crossed uh, but there we go uh, I thought I'd just give you a quick little update inside of here uh, absolutely love it i really do right guys uh, so there you have it uh, just a quick little update inside of the uh, 
pony tunnel it's more for a little uh, log for me so i can look back at it and stuff like that and uh, compare it between other years and stuff like that you know what i mean it's just for me uh, but i think round the garden seems to be done spot on uh, i'll quickly show you the sweet corn there we go the sweet corn's looking quite good quite high now see what comes from that hopefully fingers crossed uh, we'll get some nice decent cobs from them uh, I have made a little bit of a mistake by uh, putting two different varieties next to each other and uh, I didn't really realise at the time when I'd done that uh, but it's all learning at the end of the day and like I say guys, fingers crossed uh, at least if I get a couple of cobs, I'll be happy so we will see uh, further on down the garden, all my uh, chrysams we big giant chrysams, they're starting to show the flower heads now uh, like I say, I got these mixed up when I bought them as cuttings uh, the name tag, so once the flowers start showing the colour, I'll be to work out what what one's what. Yeah, I've got some big plans for these for hopefully for next year. Uh, fingers crossed I can get uh, decent cuttings from them. Uh, I'll spin these around now and let's have a quick little look. So as you can see, I'm getting some nice size flower heads on. You need to go through them because when they get a certain size and then they start shooting out flower heads, it's only about four of them on or three and you take them all off apart from the centre one. So this probably had four on, and then the centre one, took them all off, and then kept the centre one. When they were like little like that, so I'll show you as an example. So like that there. And that there. And then eventually, eventually they start getting bigger. And they start getting bigger and as you can see they go up in size and there we have it i have done a little experiment and tried a like where i got four left on there one left on there one left on there i've got three left on there so i just want to see like for the flower size see if there's any difference in it but i'm really really pleased with them all we did as, as well are looking quite good and all yeah i'll show you them so these are all the dealias, uh, they're looking really good. So they're getting them a nice size now where I want them to be. I'm happy enough with these, just letting them be now and getting the flower heads on. Hopefully I'll get a nice uh, flower show from them. It is a one there what I is struggling, uh, but I will have to, I'm gonna get down in there and just nip the growing points out and hopefully that'll encourage the side shoots to come up couple down there this, they don't need to be tied up one more time they don't need to be tied up one more time uh, but fingers crossed I'll get some nice little flowers from them uh, but I've got big, big plans for these and stuff like that for uh, next year and uh, fingers crossed sort out a decent part of the garden where we could put them uh, but there we go guys uh, I'm just going to call it a day we've got some big plans coming up uh, please stay tuned uh, I'm going to be uh, doing some of that stuff, uh, working on a plot, uh, doing some of that stuff, uh, just helping someone out to get started. Uh, so I'll be making videos on that and uh, just see how uh, it gets on and stuff like that. Uh, so we look forward to uh, jumping on another little project. Uh, this garden's been fantastic. It's uh, on one my third year now and uh, we're starting to get to know the garden and how it's starting to work, you know, uh, or where all the shady bits are, what ground needs to be, uh, have more feed and, and things like that. Uh, we're starting to get there now. And uh, it's, it's a really, really good garden and I really enjoy it. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we can help this other person out and uh, get this one up and running as well. Uh, because it is a bit of a state, uh, but it's just, you just, you just gotta put, just do it bit by bit, bit by bit, do a drone, make a plan and then there we go. Uh, I'm gonna help them out because I turned around and said that I'll, they're all right me doing me little videos down there and uh, we'll try and do some uh, videos on how to set a garden up and well, what I think, how you should set your garden up. And uh, But we'll see, we'll see how we'll get on. Uh, but I just wanna say cheers for watching guys. Uh, cheers for all the likes and all the comments. Uh, really, really appreciate it. I noticed I had a few more uh, subscribers coming up to my channel. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Gardening Channel. Uh, I am a beginner, believe it or not. Uh, this is my third year, uh, third season. So I'm learning as I go. Any tips, any advice, outright that you've got, feel free, fire them over. 
uh, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, but there we go, guys. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, and hopefully I'll catch you here next week. And uh, fingers crossed I can get some recording done down on another plot uh, where we're helping out a friend. Okay, so I'll see you soon, and I'll speak to you soon. Turn on now.